will discuss how to convert the data types in Power Apps. Majorly we will cover how to convert the text related data type into a different type of data types in Power Apps. These data types plays major role when we are developing any, any application. So for that I will jump back to the Power Apps. Here I have added few buttons to convert text to value and value to text and then text to collection and then collection to text and text to record and record to text. To take one text string, I'll insert one text input. So this is a text input and whatever you enter inside this text input, it treats as in a text. So here I'm removing the default value. So here I'll enter something called like I'll enter a number in this one, which is I'll play this one, I'll enter a number which is 12. Now we have 12, we'll utilize this one and then we'll see what this data type would be and then we'll try to convert to a value. So this is text input file, I'm copying this one. So inside this on select event of this button, I'm writing or I'm creating a variable called text string and then I'll call this text input file dot text. Now when we click on this button, now this variable will create. If you double click on it, you can able to see the data type is text. Or if you click here as well, and this is also a data type called text. Now we'll convert this one into a value. To convert this to a value, we have to use a value formula. And then if you click open parenthesis, and it will ask for the text string to enter. And then I'll close this parenthesis of this creation variable. So when we click this one, now if you go back to this variable, now that is 12, the data, data type is number. To convert the text string to a number, we have to use a value formula. The same fashion, now we have this as a number. I will try to convert this into an, a string. Here we have you to text button. Here on this uh, on this unselect event, I'm writing a new variable. I'll give this as var string and then we already have this text string variable. Now you can able to see this text string. The text string is a data type of this text string is a data type of number. To convert this number to string, we have to use text formula and then open parenthesis and pass the text string and then close it. Now if you run this one or if you click on this value to text button and if you double click on it now you can able to see this is a data type text to convert value to text we need to use a text formula and then we have to pass the value here so this way we can able to convert value to text now we'll discuss how to convert the text to a collection so to convert the text to collection and it must and should have some separators so for that, what I'll do is I'll try to take one text input here. So in this text input, we'll pass some information. So I'm trying to pass Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, and then power b now we have this text we have a bigger text and which is separated with a commas now we'll try to create a collection so for that i'm using a formula called clear collect i'll give a collection name here which is a data collection as a name i'm giving now I'm trying to write a formula called split and this split formula have the inter, uh, interlessence here. First it is taking a text and then it will take a separator. Now the text is here. The text is within the text input six star text. Then take this one and dot text. 
then use comma now the separator is comma here and then close the split formula and then close the clear collector formula here if you see this dot text you can able to see this power apps power Automate, power app virtual agent and power ba which all are separated with a comma so that's why i used the separator as a comma here so when i click i'm using alt click when i click this collection will create if you go here you can able to see the collection now the under the value you can able to see power apps power automate power virtual agent and power ba separated in the rows now the data type of this one is table now we converted this text string into an, a table now i have this table now i want to uh, create a text string so for that we have collection to text button here so before that uh, i will insert one text label here in this text label and i want to show the uh, you know string which is converted from a collection so for that in this button i'll create one variable called which is collection to text i'm giving name now here i'm using a formula called concat when i use this open parenthesis first it will ask for the collection now we have a data collection which is created now the next one is expression which means what you want to pass here i want to pass a value from that collection value is a column name inside the data collection now which separator you want now i want to separate with a comma itself or if you want to separate with a semicolon you can able to separate with a semicolon as well i'm closing this concat formula and i'm closing this set formula now here i want to use this variable which is collection to text and come back here inside text use this one now when you click on this button collection to text now you can able to see this text is generated and which is separated with a semicolon you can see power apps and then semicolon and then power automate and then power virtual agent and then power ba if you go here if you click on this variable now you can able to see the string and the data type is text so this way we can able to convert the collection to the text now we have another one is text to record now i want to create a record from an a text now i have this collection to text as a text now we'll try to create that as a record to create the record now i'm going back to on select of this one i'm taking a variable called uh, a record from text now i'll use one curly brace here then i'll use a field name which is a column name and then i want to use a variable which is um, you know we have created collect to text which is a text string now i'll close this one and i'll close the parentheses as well now when i click this one now if you go back to this text a record from text and you can able to see the record now this record which is name as a value and under the value we can able to use the power apps power automate so this is a text if you click here you can able to see which is a text now i create a record from the text so to create a record we need to use the curly brace and then we need to pass a field name and then we need to pass the text now we have this as a record now i want to create a text now i want to create a text from the record so finally we have record to text in this answer it, i'm writing one more variable and here i'm trying to convert record to text so to convert this one i'm just typing this text when i use open parenthesis and it is asking a value now we have this record from text which is a record now i will use this record here i'll use dot and the field name which is value if i close this one and if i close the parenthesis of this set formula will try to run this one if i click this one and it will create a it will create a text now you can able to see the data type as text now this record to text also having this power apps power automate power virtual agent and power pa now this record this record now it is converted to a 
text data types. So this way we can able to convert the text to values and value to text and again we can create a collection from a text and if you have a collection you can able to convert that into a text and then we can create a record from the text and also we can convert the record to text as well. So this way we can able to convert the data types in power apps. Thank you.